Yeah, so my name is Michael. I go by Take 5. It's my moniker. I also do uh, music under the name Ace Decade. And I've been doing contemporary electronic music for almost uh, 15 years or something. I don't know, I can't do the math, but uh, since the mid 90s, I started off doing turntablism and hip hop and DJing with uh, vinyl records and recording into old uh, you know, four track recorders. My creative process is, is always more enjoyable if I'm learning as I go. This whole world of like analog synthesizers and stuff is uh, like a plethora of information and things to learn, so it's been really uh, captivating. As I mentioned, I have several names that I work under. Under the name Take 5, I've been traditionally known as making uh, more hip-hop oriented music and uh, and most recently I've uh, journeyed into the world of dub and uh, not to be confused with uh, the modern dub step but the you know more roots um, yeah reggae dub that influence just came from listening to all the original great records that you know came out in the 70s and 60s and whatnot That has such a rich uh, body of sound, and um, I find it like even very modern. This like the techniques that are used, the mixing techniques, and uh, it's very uh, high tech. You know, dub music is um, just laden with all kinds of like effects and that sort of thing, and I really always enjoyed that about it. Yeah, my venture from hip hop to dub was not necessarily a large leap, um, like I consider them to be fairly closely related, um, but uh, yeah, like it's been a very uh, fun uh, venture to, to get into dub music, yeah. Yeah, the more current a uh, body of work that I'm working on presently is under the name Ace Decade. And that sort of spawned from this wall I hit where uh, my creative process was a bit stifled. Um, I'd approached a good friend of mine, Robert Squire, and uh, told him about my situation and basically said, you know, dude, you should maybe get some new gear and look into, you know, reinventing how you approach music, like your workflow. So this is my beloved Roland SH-101. Uh, it's a uh, monophonic analog synth. It's great for bass. Um, it was in terrible condition when I first got it. It was covered in black paint. I had to soak it and scrape all the keys and I repainted it and uh, had my friend print up the uh, new text for all the uh, controllers here and uh, I've named it the Esper Edition as a tribute to the uh, Blade Runner film and used the Blade Runner fonts on there and uh, and that's also a tribute to Vangelis who made an awesome soundtrack to that film. I stand by my work, like I, I believe that I have talent and uh, like musically and like as a producer and a performer. I, I have no monopoly on the talent in this city. There's so much, there's like an incredible abundance of, of talent here, but we face a lot of uh, issues with um, like, you know, affordability of space and venues and that sort of thing. And without like getting into that whole, um, you know, struggle, like just personally, I'd, I'd like to, you know, travel and, and do shows and, um, and play, play more festivals and that sort of thing. And uh, maybe put Vancouver, you know, more in a spotlight of like a global city that has the talent that it does because, you know, presently, if you want to make it, you know, you've, you, you've got to leave Vancouver. You've got to go to Berlin or Montreal or Toronto. And so a lot of artists are frustrated uh, living in Vancouver, you know, but like, I'd like to see that change. <laughs>